spirit life versus law life. Galatians 5 verse 18. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. As we continue to, uh, spending our time in Paul's episode to Galatians and examining this particular passage in Galatians chapter 5, verses 16 to 26, we look at verse 18 today where Paul says, If you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. So when, as he teaches us about walking in the Spirit, of living a life that is submitted, uh, yielded and under the influence of the Holy Spirit. He says, if you are led by the Spirit of God, if the Holy Spirit is the one who is leading you and directing you, then you don't need to be under the law. You see, one of the problems that the Galatians faced, and which probably is still prevalent in some parts of Christendom, uh, is that we have to be subject to the law. We've got to follow all these do's and don'ts and all the requirements of the law. And Paul is saying, look, there's a higher way to live. If you are living yielded to the Holy Spirit, if you're being led by the Spirit of God, you don't need the law. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is he's, he's God and He's going to definitely lead you in righteousness. And not only is going to lead you in righteousness, His leading comes with empowering. His leading comes with enabling. The law brought requirements. The law uh, revealed God's standards. It revealed the heart of God. It revealed what God expected of His people. But the law did not bring with it the empowering and the enabling that people needed to walk in righteousness and holiness and in a way that's pleasing to God. So here's the contrast. When you're walking under the Holy Spirit, you're definitely walking according to the heart of God. Plus, you're being enabled and empowered by the Spirit to live a life that is righteous, holy, and pleasing to Him, which is different when you're trying to live by the law. Under the law, people felt burdened. Under the law, people felt inadequate. They knew what the righteous requirements were, but they didn't have the capacity to keep it. They were powerless. They said, how do we do this? How could we keep the law, the standards of God? So Paul invites us to walk in the Spirit. The life, the Spirit life is far superior to a law life. The Spirit life comes with supernatural enabling to live a life that's pleasing to God. So walk in the Spirit. You don't have to worry about the law. The Holy Spirit will lead you to do everything the law requires and more, walking in righteousness. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you'll help us to live life in the Spirit, to live, to walk in the Spirit, to be led by the Spirit. And we know that as we do that, we will meet the requirements of the law and much more. And we will walk in holiness and righteousness. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.